Hi, David Hall with the Gold and Silver Coin Report. It is Friday, April 24th, 2015. So bullion backed off a little bit this week, but again, we're playing around with the 1200 number, which we have been for quite a while. Uh, it went down $23 this week, closing at $1179.90. Uh, silver backed off also, down 47 cents for the week at 15.75. Look, um, as I said before, a good approach is over 1,200. Hmm, this could get interesting. Under 1,200, well, maybe I'll step up and buy some. Silver also 16, looks cheap. It's even compared to gold, it looks cheap. Here's the deal, like a lot of forces, are coalescing at the moment. In, so far this year, China and Russia have increased, they were the world's biggest gold buyers, and they've increased their spending on gold. As, and India is also a big buyer. So you have the West, like us, selling to the East. China, Russia, and um, uh, India. So yeah, Putin will sell dollar um, oil for dollars, but he immediately takes the dollars and dumps them for gold. China, same thing. The dollar still, still for now, the reserve currency of the world. And yeah, they'll take the dollars, but they immediately um, dump them for gold. So you have a lot of buying by Russia and China, even more this year than last, last year. It scares me. I'm kind of sad about it, being an American, but uh, whatever. Uh, okay, you just got to take care of yourself and your family, and that's why I really like gold here, and I really like gold under 1,200. I think that's kind of a good buying level. Each time it dips down to 12, under 1200, it's time to add a little bit. And that's what I've been doing. And if you want gold, uh, you know, your decision, th that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, don't wait for it to go lower. It could, but it's really doubtful. It's been playing around with this 1200 base for a long time. And you have China and Russia just going, okay, we'll take your gold. We'll take your gold. At today's prices, those people are not dumb and they know that gold is real money. So do I, and I'm pretty sure you do too. So I like the gold here. Gold coins, silver coins, good availability right now. No problems, decent premiums. Uh, the semi-numismatic stuff, really good buys right now. Very low premiums historically. So the $20 St. Gaudens, uh, $20 Liberty, $10 Liberty, all very good, especially the graded stuff. The gem quality coins are selling uh, for pretty historic lows here uh, compared to the, uh, the bullion. So it, it all looks good for the gold and silver market. Rare coin market, uh, kind of uh, mixed, okay? Few prices going down a little, few prices going up. Kind of like the gold price, sort of like in a stable area, but that's a really active market. Uh, just had a big auction with some phenomenal uh, prices uh, actually this yesterday uh, for some rarities. So ultra rarities or you know just people uh, stepping up to the plate. It's all about real assets and rare coins. Of course, a great, great uh, long-term way to uh, hedge against dollar depreciation, pass wealth to heirs. It's a great market and it's doing pretty well right now, but it's not like at the white hot stage where you got to not overpay, but really pay up to get, you can get some pretty nice coins at some very reasonable prices right now. I think it's a good time to buy coins. I definitely think you should buy some gold and silver. And by all means, have fun with your coins.